when it, it came crashing down, it came crashing down all at once. Very quickly. It was a very rapid cascading effect in 73. Mm -hmm. Remember, so the break in is June 17th, 72. Uh, Nixon doesn't resign until August 8th, 74. The hearings begin, I think it was May of 73. Um, I may have that month a little off, but it was this was the season the, the late the last quarter of 73 when Nixon said, I am not a crook. Uh, which would have fit on Twitter. But uh, mm -hmm. then it, basically what begins to happen in 74 is you have the investigations, but you also have the economy souring. And that's something to watch. If you want to, one barometer of what's going to happen to President Trump is going to be in the corner of everyone's television sets today, which is what the markets are doing. Uh, I believe that he's been propped up artificially by what I think of as 401k Trump supporters. Because their numbers were up, they were willing to give him a pass on the rest of it. When that begins to, to crack, I, I think that goes away. One other thought, and I'd love your reaction to this, is it is possible that our, our ordinary political vocabulary, our ordinary vernacular, really isn't commensurate with what's happening here. If, in fact, and it's a subjunctive, if, in fact, Donald Trump knew about the Russian efforts on his behalf, then there's a live question about whether he gave aid and he has been giving aid and comfort to the enemy, which is the definition of treason in the Constitution. Oh my God. So this isn't just a who wins the week, who loses the week conversation. This is an existential constitutional crisis because it's quite possible that the president of the United States right now is a, a witting or at least un partially witting agent of a foreign power. And I say that with great care, but that's a possibility. And I think that we have to somewhat tap the brakes on our ordinary uh, assessment of things and realize that this is possibly the biggest kind of question we could confront as a democracy. We've never been here before. Uh, we weren't 